Hey everyone, my name is Trinity and welcome to my first YouTube video. I absolutely don't know what I'm doing. We're just going to try some hair makeup today. We're going to try putting pearls in my hair. Because why not? Um, and we're just going to see how this all goes. First, we're going to use this blow dryer. Um, it is a mini blow dryer that I got on a FabFitFront box about two, three years ago. Um, and this is the only one I have. I don't really blow dry my hair a lot. I let it air dry most of the time, but it's still pretty wet in the back because I have quite long hair. So let's try it out. All right, and so before we get started, let me tell you what I use on my hair. I use this Redken heat spray. I've been using it for years. It does not miss. It's pretty good. I think I'm running out soon, so good to know. And this Pelor transparent hair oil. It'll make your hair shiny just a little bit on the ends to make it a little bit extra soft. By the way, nothing is sponsored. I'm just showing you what I like. First, we're gonna go in with the Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is what I use, this changed my life. I feel like I look so good with it. It's in the shade two for light. So I go on the forehead, I go on the cheekbones, I go down the bridge of my nose and my chin. I can go like right here. And just know that I am not a professional obviously um, I'm just I just this is what I like to do for fun and then I'm just gonna lightly blend it with a um, sponge um, this is just a basic black bunch set that I got from Amazon and everything will be linked in my bio of what I use today yay so let me know are you guys typically makeup first than hair or hair than makeup? I kind of do like a mixture of both. All right, let's get started with curling my hair. I'm using a Hot Tools Professional. I believe this is like one and a quarter barrel. I don't even think they say it on um, it, but I've had it for quite a long time. You can definitely purchase this at Ulta, obviously Amazon too. So let's get started. I honestly just section each piece, um, nothing too fancy. And I go like this and I roll, let it stay for a few minutes, not minutes, a few seconds. And I just, and I try to do everything away from the base. This is just like my go-to. This is how I feel the prettiest. It's just long wavy hair sometimes i roll it up in um like velcro curlers but i just i don't know i just don't think i'm very good at it to be honest see that was a bigger piece but that's okay and i spray like by each section so i separate my hair by like four to six sections depending on how much that I have. Oh, that's not going to be a very good curl. This I can tell. And I basically get my hair done once twice, once to twice a year with like basic balayage and a trim. I really like curtain bangs because it really frames my face, but I'm getting married in Mexico in June. And I think after that, I kind of want to do something different from what I've been doing. Something that's low maintenance. I don't know. Or high, higher maintenance. So I kind of want to test it out. We're getting married. Me and my fiance Cody are getting married in Cancun, Mexico in June. In this resort called El Dorado Royale. And we are freaking thrilled. thrilled. So I'm just going to use my Headstrong Volume Hairspray by Aussie. It's a classic. And honestly, for my wedding, I have been, I'm going to do my own hair and makeup. Our wedding is going to be very affordable, very relaxed, very chill. Um, I kind of want to be like at really natural, not too fussy. 
and um, that's just kind of like how my vibe is going to be. It's going to be very beachy, um, very hacienda, um, with beautiful bright colors. Um, just my whole look itself is going to be very simple. That was not a very good curl at all. I think this is a still pretty damp. But what can you do, y'all? What can you do? But yeah. I keep couching myself slouching and I need to stand up straight. I'm definitely developing like a hump in my back. Not like a hump, but I can just tell and I need to definitely stand up straight. I work in an office job in front of a computer all day and we're obviously on our devices all day. So gotta learn how to stand up straight. All right, let's move on to foundation. I'm using the Airbrush Flawless uh, Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury in shade three. It's gonna be too dark on me. I'm really, really fair. And that's okay, so we're just gonna do it. Um, I'm just doing this because it's really aesthetically pleasing, not that one. But let's go. And I have my mirror right here. So if you catch me looking right there, that's where my mirror is. I've always been into hair and makeup, literally, my whole life. In college, I really did a lot of hair and makeup. I got um, my bachelor's of fine arts degree in theater. There wasn't really true emphasis in our department. It's just what you kind of did because we did everything. But um, I really did a lot of costuming and hair and makeup and painting too. Yeah, I definitely need to blend because it looks a lot darker on my phone than it does in my mirror. But you know what? That's okay because we're going to be taking pictures today. I'm not trying to be crazy. Okay, I'm gonna use this Morphe eye primer, eyeshadow primer. It is old. I am literally at the last edge of it, but I've been at the last edge of it for like a year now. It is holding on strong. And I think I'll definitely purchase that again. Um, well, because it lasts forever, a little goes a long way. And so that's what we're going to do. Pretty, okay. Oh, and this is in tra shade transparent. So let's do some eyebrows. I have very big eyebrows in case you can't tell. And yes, I pluck, yes, I trim. I don't do it professionally. Nothing I do is professional, except when I get my hair cut and highlighted. So what I wanna do, this is a Laura Mercier Ash Blonde Eyebrow Pencil. I'm just gonna go against the grain of my hair, just lightly fill in some areas, leaving the, this part kind of bare. Just so it can just have some depth to it. And then for your eyebrow pencils, you wanna go in a lighter shade, something that's not too dark. Cause I have really dark eyebrows naturally. My dogs are barking. So if I add like a really dark eyebrow pencil, I'm gonna look crazy. And then I wanna, Set it with the brow major brow elimination gel by Patrick Tall. Oh my god, I love this. I love Patrick Tall. It really glues it down because my eyebrow hair is crazy. It like is can be curly and can go. So we're just kind of setting it to make sure it stays in place. This is such a game changer for me. 
Dude, that just looks so good. All right, for eyes, we are going to do this Patrick Tall Major Dimension Eyeshadow Palette. It is so pretty. Has really pretty colors on it. Let me see if I can show you. Oh, I love it. Ooh. I want to try to be really light with my eyes today. Nothing too heavy. I'm just like kind of on this trend of not a heavy eye. Try to be as natural as I can. I'm going to try it. Okay, I also have like this daily brush cleaner by Sephora. And I have a br Morphe brush. It does not have a number. It's just a pony horsetail ponytail brush. Um, I'm just going to clean it off a little bit. Because who knows what colors I've been doing. I've been putting blush as my eyeshadow lately. It's not that bad. Okay. Um, let's see. We're going to do... Let's see. What is this called? Transition. Just a little bit. Just for a very light nude. All over the eyebrows. And again, I am not a professional makeup artist. I'm just doing what I like. And right now, I like light. And what's great about this eyeshadow palette is that it's very buildable. So, um... It is pigmented, but it um, you can always keep adding to it. So you can see just like a little bit. Because I really just want to enhance my eyes and not be too crazy. See, that's pretty. Absolutely love Patrick Tall. It does not have a lot of excess, which is really, really nice. So you're not like <laughs> trying to get rid of it or there's not a lot of fallout where it's all over. Um, your face. We're going to do right next to transition. Absolutely. Just a little bit on the crease. For a little something, something. A little something, something. Job. and so there's a little going away party for him so we're going to do that as well so what's great about um patrick tall makeup the eyeshadow definitely lasts i'm pretty sure i want to use this eyeshadow palette for my wedding and i want to do ooh, that was a lot i want to do the one right above um absolutely for lavish just a little sparkle pretty and then at the very end we're gonna do divine just for the corners it looks pretty good not too mad at it. I'm one of those people I keep picking and picking and picking and then it gets super muddy and looks crazy. So I am stopping while I'm ahead. My phone stopped recording halfway through that. Okay. So I blended. I think it looks good. I don't know what y'all think, but I think it looks mighty fine. All right. So hopefully it doesn't stop recording on me, but we are going to use the Make by Mario um, blush stick in shade Raspberry. It is pink, but it doesn't look as crazy as you think. I love Makeup by Mario. Um, I'm a big Kardashian girl, and um, he has been Kim Kardashian's makeup artist for over a decade. And you know, she always looks snatched. And if you watch 
uh, Keeping Up with the Kardashians. He has a lot of cameos, and he's even on the new one doing her makeup on SNL. See, like, it blends out so good. I like to add, like, another powder to it, like a powder blush, just to really make it pop. And I think I would really like to try the Mar Makeup by Mario powder blush because he's just so good. So now my hair is curled. What we're going to do, we're going to put my curtain bangs back a bit. Um, I wish I had a smaller. I always have combs, but I don't know where they go. So I think my hair is too long for it to be zip tied. Or my curtain bangs are not long enough. But we're just gonna see. I have a ton of baby hair, so we're just gonna push. Using the anti humidity spray because my hair is already curling, and I have a feeling in Mexico it's gonna be really freaking bad. That's okay. That's okay. So let me spray this bit. So I tease my hair a bit and I brush it out. It looks okay. I wish it was curlier, but what can you do? Now we're gonna try the pearls. This could either look like complete shit or it's gonna look cute. We'll see. But this little pack, I got like, it's like a pack of 10 from Amazon. I'm excited. <gasps> I think they're sticky. I don't think I need to use the eyelash glue. Perfect. Oh, they're sticky. So let's try like this one right here that you can't really see. Okay. Okay. I think we have to be like pretty. Okay, okay. So All right. What do you think? Does it look crazy? Let's come back and when I do a few more. I think it's kind of cute. Nah, I like it. Okay. This is cute. I like it. It's not perfect. Definitely not doing this for my wedding. It kind of doesn't look like pearls, but I think I really need to think about placement. But it is so cute. Do I like it all with my hair like that? I think I like it behind my ears the most. Let's do eyeliner and lashes. Okay, I use the Styla liner and want to use this uh, Silda Pre. Primer by Lancome. My liner looks atrocious. It is not even, and I just don't feel like fixing it, to be honest. The best thing ever. And I want to top it off with the Lancome Hypnos Drama VIP and Ultra Black. looks so good. I, I think I love putting on lashes. I don't like to wear fake lashes. I tried extensions once. It was definitely a no. I think that is, it is so overpriced. I was like, oh my god, $155 for lashes extensions? Never again. But I don't know, maybe I'm not sold on the pearls. I think it'll be a fun look on my honeymoon or at, when we were at the resort for our wedding during the week. Definitely not on my wedding day. It's just not my thing. I've never been really a big pearl girl anyways. I've always been a diamond girl. All right. 
side. I like to add a little extra with the Maybelline Lash Sensational. So the little itty bitty ones don't really stick. But I added a lot more and I feel a little bit better. But the thing is I can't brush my hair again. Um, and I'm adding Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. So the thing you'll know about me, I am loyal to brands. Charlotte Tilbury, Patrick Tall, Makeup on Mario, and Lancome. It's really hard for me to break. I love trying other products, but they are my favorite. All right, let's put my lipstick. I don't know where my lipstick is. Crisis averted. I found it. Oh, I didn't put it on a highlighter. I should do that. Oh, I love it. We'll add a gloss. I promise. Buxom Dolly. It's like a lip plumper. It's really pretty. Okay, I love it. I know this dress is from Show Me Your Moo Moo. It's really sparkly. I feel very ethereal right now. I kind of like it. And we're going to do um, this new All Nair spray with vitamin C by um, Urban Decay. Smells good. And that's, that's it. Thank you for my first YouTube video. I'm so happy. Rip the band-aid and I hope I get to do more.